G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines with Laurie Jackson from Whitley Boat Sales here in South East Queensland. It's Whitley's northern headquarters of sales in Australia. And Laurie, you've got a great looking boat for me here and we've tested one like it before, the Sea Legend 25. What's this thing that's sitting on the back of it? Looks pretty much like a V8 Mercury Verado to me. Yes, yes, very, very excited about this boat, Steve. And I know you tested the last 25 we had in the showroom and you love that. You're really going to love this one. Uh, as you said, it's got the V8 Verado on the back. It's the new Mercury uh, Association we have. We're very excited to have uh, Mercury involved with us. Now, the last boat we tested, it was a twin rig. So this SL25 can take a twin rig. That one had twin rig Yamahas on the back. This one has the single Mercury. How have you found the difference between the twin and the single engine in terms of performance and fuel consumption? Um, I haven't personally tested this boat, Steve, but uh, the boys in Melbourne tell me that it uh, really gets up and goes. Uh, I think you're gonna enjoy the drive today. Uh, it's, uh, look, I, I think it'll be uh, very, very fuel efficient and will be, uh, it'll power the boat along quite nicely. Now the Mercury Verado, of course, it's got the what's called AMS Advanced Midsection and it really takes a lot of the vibration from that big V8 outboard and it doesn't transfer it to the boat. So the, the end user driving experience for the boats I've tested has been fairly good. But moving forward from that, tell us about the, the hard top, um, some of its fishing and family features. Well, the hardtop, uh, since we've put the hardtop on the uh, on the Sea Legend branding, it's, uh, it's made it really into a hybrid boat and it's made it so much more user friendly for family groups. We can put camp covers on the boat for you. As you can see on this boat here, it does have those drop down clears. No one gets wet on the way home at, uh, in the evening. Uh, it's just a, a really good, um, really nice boat, really nice boat. I noticed with the uh, the fishermen especially, they like the hardtops because it, it gives you a lot of places to get your rods out of the way and it, and it gives you a lot of fishing room in the boat. Um, tell Tell us a little bit about the uh, about trailering this rig. It's a big rig. You're not going to tow it behind your barina, are you? No, no, it's definitely at the mid-size uh, ute, at 3.5 tonne uh, ute, you need that capacity. The boat weighs 3,100 kilos on the trailer, boat motor trailer, dry weight, so uh, it's got 240 litres of fuel in the boat and uh, 40 litres of water. So really we'd like to see you tow it without the fuel and the water. Um, yeah, it's just a, a, but it's easily towed with a three and a half ton ute. Yeah, it's, it, to me, this is the sort of boat you need to maybe nearly step up your tow vehicle, um, just to be safe on the roads, etc. Um, from a uh, fit out point of view, the Whitleys are always fairly luxurious. I notice there's hardly any go out the door now without the uh, the EVA decks on them. Yes. How popular have they been? Oh yeah, the well, we don't do any of our Sea Legend branding now without uh, without the rubber, the premium rubber we'd like to call it. Uh, it's got a lot of different names, but uh, it's very very uh, user friendly for your uh, fishing. Uh, nothing sticks to it. Cleans really well. Gurney and just a bit of uh, detergent comes off so easily. Now I think this is a loaded question asking a Whitley salesman, but uh, what's your favourite thing about these Whitley boats? I know they look great, they trailer great, they're great on the water, but what do you love most about them? Um, well, I'm very biased, Steve. I own an SL22, so uh, I just love the fishing ability and how the boat does handle. Uh, handles all that uh, that chop that I think you'll find out the front this morning. Um, just yeah, just a really, really good all all round offshore boat. Well, there you go. I know this man bleeds Whitley, but uh, we believe nothing that he says at Fishing Monthly. We'd like to go and test them, so let's get this thing out of the water. We're going to come back to you with some performance statistics.
Well, there you go. How often is it you get to take nearly $200,000 worth of boat out for a day on the Gold Coast? And uh, we took it down the Broadwater, down to Wavebreak Island. It was a little bit lumpy to get offshore. There was a fair old swell running on the, uh, on the seaway. But it was a great day to get out and test this version of Whitley's Sea Legend 25 footer, the SL25. Now, we've tested this hull before with twin 150 horsepower outboards. You can check the link above uh, for the link to that video. But this one, powered by Mercury's V8, 4.6 litre, 300 horsepower Verado outboard. And the Verado, of course, features that AMS midsection, which takes out all of the vibration and noise to the boat. Um, it was really cool dropping this boat in this morning and showing the guys for the first time those exhaust ports as you can open to give it that real V8 tone at the ramp. And uh, if you want this thing to sound like a V8, it sounds like a V8. Or if you want it to run quietly, you hit the button and that's all controlled from your vessel view at the helm. Um, but starting at the back and moving forward, it's quite accessible around the outside. It's got Whitley's uh, rubber decking on the back which uh, is non-slip and it has sort of a small half transom door on the back. It hasn't got a full transom door but it is very easy to get in and out of this boat whether you're on the water or on the trailer. Um, built into the transom is the big live bait tank and of course there's a small a 40 litre tank with a fresh water shower. Uh, that is a real luxury for a fishing boat let me tell you. Um, move on to the inside of the boat there and it's got quite a large cockpit although not the biggest cockpit in its class um, but it's got quite high gunnels. So if you are outside, and, and let's, let's face it, this is an offshore fishing boat, you've got plenty of space to get your thighs locked underneath and to keep yourself inside the boat when you're fishing offshore. Um, it has Whitley's quite unique uh, twin back seat setup. It's got, uh, it's got the two helm and passenger seats which are facing forward, which are quite elevated, but the rear facing seats are actually quite low. Now that has a lot of storage underneath it, but it also has uh, some inherent advantages for people like bait fishing, for instance. Uh, you're sitting there low, you're looking back, you're not having to swivel your seat back and forth. It's a pretty cool system. And of course, that entire cockpit is lined with Whitley's EVA foam floor, which is ridiculously easy to maintain. Um, of course, like all cabin boats, there's uh, a couple of big side pockets where you can keep your day-to-day -day fishing gear. Now, moving forward again, of course, we've got the hard top. Great visibility with the hard top. It's got two sliding windows where you can open for air circulation for Queenslanders like me. That's pretty important. And of course, you can mount some of your electronics, in this case, some radios, up into that hard top and get them up and out of the road. Um, in hot environments, you may want to take Whitley's optional Bimini top extension at the back. It'll extend by nearly a metre, that shaded area, and then if you wanted to put full all-round clears to turn this into an enclosed camping style boat, uh, you can do that and it uses that option to do exactly that. Uh, move forward again, sitting at the dash, there's of course plenty of visibility with that uh, those massive windscreens. Um, I love the fact that you can fit up to a 16-inch sounder in the dash, um, but you will have to make a decision because you can't fit a 16-inch sounder and, for instance, a Mercury vessel view. In that case, you'd need to maybe run the the converter to get all of your engine data displayed on that 16 inch touch screen. So uh, um, with a bit of clever Tetra style organisation you'll get what you want mounted flush on that dash. Um, the cabin itself has, features a slidable, lockable door. So if you're uh, touring this boat or going away, you can lock everything away, um, put all your fishing rods up there, for instance, get it all locked and get it out of the road. When we're on the road, it was for me, it was a little bit difficult to secure that sliding door for coming back. I think you need to maybe have a look at, uh, at a, a good way of securing that, because if you're in a rough sea, you don't want that cabin door uh, sliding shut on you. Um, the cabin itself, uh, not, not the hugest cabin for a 25-foot boat again, but remember, this is a fishing boat. It's designed to have a lot of fishing space at the back and some space to get out and out of the road in the front. Uh, you can put a toilet in this boat if you want to rig it up for the family but it does swallow up plenty of gear. Uh, of course up the front there's, there's an anchor winch. Uh, nobody with a 25 foot boat pulls up an anchor nowadays. Let's look at some of the performance stats. Uh, best economy at 3500 rpm where it went 29 kilometres an hour and you got 1.2 kilometres per litre burned. Um, top speed 5900 rpm gets you 70 nine kilometers an hour but when you hammer it that hard the economy drops 800 meters per litre burn so if you want maximum economy maximum range cruising in that 30 to 40 kilometer an hour range is exactly how you want to do it this boat's spinning a 19 inch mercury inertia stainless steel three blade propeller for those performance statistics as tested and this is what you all want to know how much is it going to cost for me to get one well 
Assuming you don't have to upgrade your tow vehicle, and this is at the upper end of what a 3.5 tonne ute can tow, especially when it's loaded, um, you're going to pay $198,072 for this boat as it's tested. Um, if you have to upgrade your car, then the sky's the limit. But uh, for safe towing, you would definitely need a Land Cruiser, uh, a big truck style uh, truck to tow it. Um, Troll it, do it with your Mitsubishi Triton and you're going to be chancing your arm. Um, more information, you can come and see the guys here at Whitley on the Gold Coast, but no matter where you are in Australia, you can find your nearest dealer by visiting www.whitley.com.au.